Hi guys, so I'm doing something a little different on my channel today. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while and I am finally doing it. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, you know that we are a vegan family and it's something that we are very passionate about. I love sharing vegan food with people, vegan recipes, tips and tricks. So I thought the best way that I could share my knowledge is through my YouTube channel. So I wanted to start uploading videos every Friday that all have to do with vegan food and vegan cooking and vegan shopping, whether that be a recipe video or a what we eat in a day video or just basic vegan tips and tricks. And I want to call it Kind Food Friday because vegan food is all about eating healthy foods for your body, foods that don't harm our planet or harm any living beings. So today is my first Kind Food Friday video and I made a vegan cheese board because on my Instagram the majority of the questions I get from people are all people wanting to know about dairy substitutes. I think that is the hardest thing to cut out of your diet if you are wanting to go vegan or plant-based, even if it's for a day, one day a week. Um, cheese seems to be the hardest thing to replace. I definitely felt that way when I first went vegan and I totally don't feel that way anymore now that I am experienced with all of the vegan cheeses there are out there and um, I thought it would be cool to show you how you can take something that you'd never thought could be vegan and make it vegan. So if you want to see how I made a fancy vegan cheese board then keep watching and if you want to follow along on our everyday journey you can go follow my Instagram I'll write it somewhere here on the screen and I'll probably be asking people every week taking polls on what they want to see next as far as vegan recipes or whatever anything vegan <laughs> so anyways thank you guys and I hope to see you back every week Hey guys, so I'm going to be talking today about how I made this vegan cheese board. All the products are plant-based and bought all from Whole Foods, so if you'd like to learn how to make it, keep watching. So for our vegan cheeses, I bought the Miyoko's Classic Chive Cheese Wheel, the Violife Feta Block, another Violife Parmesan Block, the tree line garlic herb cheese spread, and my favorite, the Spiro goat cheese. I like to use a lot of fresh fruits on my cheese boards, so today I'm using strawberries, fresh figs, a few nectarine slices, and my favorite, golden kiwi but you can use any of your favorite fruits. That's the fun part about getting creative with these boards. For the pickled ingredients, I'm gonna be using grilled marinated artichoke hearts, kalamata olives, cornichones, which are like little mini dill pickles, and garlic stuffed green olives, which are from Sprouts, but I just already had them in my fridge. You can get them from Whole Foods as well. And for a little sweet treat, we have apricot preserves and jalapeno jam to go on our cheese crackers. Then we have this trio of different colored cherry tomatoes, a combination of nuts, seeds, and dried fruit, and a little salty crunch with these sea salt corn nuts. And for the breads and crackers, we have a French loaf, square, wheat crackers, round water crackers, and mini toasts. And lastly, for garnish, we have fresh dill, freshly cut basil, and 
some wildflowers just for decoration. So I start by cutting my Miyoko's cheese wheel. I'm just cutting out a little wedge and then I'm gonna place it on the board. I'm gonna start with filling up the four corners of the board and work my way in. So here I'm just gonna place the wheel and the wedge just inside where I cut it out. And for the garlic cheese spread, I'm just going to scoop it into this little ceramic ramekin and I'm gonna fill it to the top and just smooth it out. And then just make sure that you wipe off the edges and make sure it looks nice and pretty. Now I'm going to take the Parmesan block and I'm just gonna cut off bite-sized little triangle pieces and I'm only gonna cut up about half of the block. So I'm just gonna place this in the corner next to the cheese wheel. And next, I went ahead and just took the goat cheese straight out of its container and placed it in the opposite corner. Now the goat cheese tastes amazing with the sweet jalapeno jam. So I just scooped the jam into a bowl, microwaved it for about 15 to 20 seconds just so it was easily spreadable and I dolloped it right on top of the goat cheese. And with my smallest ramekin, I am going to fill it with my apricot preserves. In the last corner, I am gonna use this little wood tray for the cornichones and my olives. Now, uh, it might bother some of you that I am using my hands for all of this. Uh, this is just for my family and my hands have been washed several times in the process of doing this, but you can always use a fork or gloves if that bothers you. And there it goes into the last corner. And next, I'm just gonna fill my final ramekin with the nuts, seeds, and dried fruit. So now I'm just gonna start filling in all the spaces. I decided to put the mini toast next to the goat cheese and jalapeno jam. I put the artichoke hearts in the space behind the pickle tray. Then you're just gonna wanna spread out your crackers in any of the large open spaces. I like to always make sure that I get a variety of different shapes and sizes just because it looks really pleasing to the eye when it's all finished. Now it's time to slice your French bread. You can always take an extra step by grilling your French bread with some vegan butter or some olive oil, but I didn't do that today. And as your board starts filling up, you may notice that you need to move things around in order to fit what's important. As I am cutting up our fruit, I'll leave you guys with a quick tip. 
If you are new to veganism or if you have never bought vegan cheese before, typically vegan cheese is not next to the dairy cheese in the grocery stores. So if you go grocery shopping and you can't find it, it's probably not because your store doesn't carry it. It's probably because it's in a different area. So don't be afraid to ask a grocery store employee. Something to keep in mind when you are shopping for your ingredients is just trying to find foods that have lots of different color variations. So color is what is going to make our board look really pretty. So I made sure that there were some pops of red, that there is some green on the board. When I bought my tomatoes, I made sure I got a couple different colors, olives, again, a couple different colors of olives. The contrasting color is just gonna make it look really attractive. And as you can see, I'm just going around with my fruit and I'm filling in all of the empty spaces. You just wanna make sure that there are no open spaces on your board and that every little nook and cranny is taken up. And I forgot to film myself cutting up the kiwi, but I went ahead and sliced the kiwi and placed them on opposite ends of each other. Now I'm taking my feta cheese and I'm just breaking it up just like you would a dairy feta and I'm placing it around all of the foods that it would taste best with. So I love eating this feta cheese with the pickles and all of the fresh fruit. Before moving on to garnishing, I am just going to fill these little open spaces with the sea salt corn nuts. When garnishing, you just want to think about what tastes best with the cheese you're working with. So I used pomegranate seeds to top the parmesan. I used fresh dill on the chive cheese wheel. And then I used a little sprig of basil to garnish the garlic herb cheese spread. I think that no beautiful cheese board is complete without some pretty greenery and flowers. So I am just using some more fresh basil to place around the board. And I am placing the wildflowers in any little open space that I can see just to brighten it up. And there you have it, a completely plant-based cheese board. This is perfect for picnics, brunches, for special occasions, or in our case, this was just lunch on a Tuesday. <laughs> And the best thing about this cheese board is that no animals were harmed in the making of it. Thanks for watching, guys.